Hello everyone, this will be a video of the System Sensor SP1R 2475ADA. Well, what exactly does that denote? I'll tell you later in the video, but obviously it's like one of the it's like that white one I tested a while back. It's a flush mount speaker strobe, as you can see here, with the mass strobe on the front. Now there is a speaker grill present in this thing. You just can't really see the bottom of it because the light arrangement, the strobe is blocking it. Okay, that's besides the point. It's a speaker strobe that looks like a mass. See, this is kind of probably how it would look on the wall without my hand in the way. There we go. That's a better representation. Now, push this over the side here. Let me do that. I'll pull the white one over. This one happens to be the SP1W 24110ADA. The obvious difference here is not the color, but this one has a 110 candela strobe, and this one has a 75 candela strobe. Now, they're basically the same under the hood, despite the different strobe designs. Well, candelas, rather, but that's besides the point. So... I already went over the design, the uh, how this thing works, and the video I made of this thing, so you can go check this that one out if you really wanted to see. But I'm going to go over it anyways for this. Now, interestingly enough, because this has a 75 candela strobe and is 24 volts and is a speaker strobe, quite obviously, I'm going to push it over to the, this side now. We have our V4R 24758A. I mean, these things are basically the same. This one happens to be the flush mount version, and this one happens to be the surface mount version. This one looking more like the original mass. Now, it's interesting, yeah, these both have 75 candela strobes, and kind of under the hood, there. this one has more wattage selection settings. I'll go over that when I go over that. This one can only does the standard one fourth, one half, one and two watts. Well, this one has a wide variety of them. Like I said, I'll go over them when I, whenever I do. And obviously, the uh, if you watch the video of this thing, the wattage selection system is a little bit different, and the wiring setup is a little bit different. So there's that. Now let's take a look at the this device here. So, let's take it under the hood and see what's here. Now, obviously, we have our data tag right here, the SP1R 2475ADA. There you go. As you can see, 75 candela strobe, and it's within the 24-volt range, 20 to 30 volts. Ideally, 24 volts, but, yeah, that's the ideal range they put. Now, if we go over to the side here, this is interesting. If you recall in the SP1W video, I may have pointed out that this has a System Sensor Sound Choice logo. Well, that's here too, and I think that's kind of cool that I have a second device that happens to have that. And let's go over to the back of the device itself, the real back. We got our terminals right here. Now, this, these two wires are part of your wattage selection system. Why they decided to do it this way, I'm not sure. Probably to save space, obviously. That's probably the best guess. I think I just answered my own question, to be honest with you. But let's take a look at it. We got one that says A and B right here. Hopefully you can see it. Yep, I, you can see that. And we have one through six. Now, if I were to pull this one out and uh, insert it anywhere else, and pull this one out and insert it anywhere else. Any, but any of the combinations I just mentioned, if I mentioned any combinations at all. Okay, let's see if I can do it. There we go, I pulled it out. So let's say B2, for example, that would be, whoops, that would be one watt on 25 volts, and uh, let's look for it on this table. Oh wow, there doesn't seem to be any two Bs on the 70 volt table. So we're going to stick it back in 1A. So today's demo will be on 2A and 25 volts. So right here, here's your table, 25 volts, which will be on one half. 
Now, if you want to pause and read this, be my guest. Okay, so there's my somewhat interesting explanation of that. Let's refocus it. And flip it over to this, the front here and get on with our favorite part of the video. Now comes the fun part of the video, actually starting to test the device itself. So, without further ado, I got 24 volts going to the strobe in 3, 2, 1. Believe it or not, that flash is kind of fast. Show off the overhead lights. And let's turn off the room lights. Here we go. I think that should give you an idea. Now let's shut the strobe off. There we go. Now to activate this thing with a pulse station, I will be using the Firelight BG-10L. Well, why? Well, if you found these on some kind of system, more than likely it'd be on a notifier system as opposed to a firelight system. I mean, firelight's still possible too, however, I think notifier is more meant for larger scale setups, for example. And the poles of choice would probably be the notifier version of these, the NBG10s, if I even got that right. More than likely I did. But anyways, I don't have a notifier version, so this will have to do. So, without further ado, let's pull it. And let's reset that. Now, mind you, if this were on the panel, the strobe would keep going until the panel itself is reset. However, this is just a test setup and the strobe shuts off immediately because there's no more power going to the strobe. Now, let's key activate it just for fun. There you go. So let's go on to test the speaker itself. Like I said, I have a 25 volt signal going into this so it's going to be on half watt. So, without further ado, let's start off with a female firelight voicey back message. Three, two, one. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. I'm just going to make it loop again. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. Now let's find our save favorite simplex voice evacuation message and play that through. Do not 
use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Attention. 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 An emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Attention. 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 An emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your... Well, I think we had enough of that. So let's say the panel was silenced. Well, strobe's not going, but still, let's just say the panel was silenced. There we go. Now we're going to come back to the strobe and the speaker so we can test both of them both. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate the strobe, not with the pulse station just yet. I'm going to activate the strobe and I'm going to play the message, kind of simulate what it would be like if both were going in a public building. You can kind of figure out why I do that. But for lack of a be better explanation, there it is. <laughs> so let's activate the strobe and play the message. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. So we get through again. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless... Let's say the panel was just silenced, like I did last time, but the strobe is still going. And then somebody goes to the panel, hits the reset button, the panel goes through its reset cycle, and there you go, power is cut to the strobe. Now to simulate a public building fire alarm activation if it were on a voice evacuation system, I brought back the BG-10. Let's see what happens. It's not going to be very spectacular, but it's, it's worth doing. Let's just say that. Let's push in and pull it down. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report. Now let's say the panel was somehow silenced and the strobes are still going. What they have to do now is go in and reset the pole station. So I'm going to take that. Now, like I said, if this were on a panel setup, the strobe would still be going. However, this is just my basic test setup, and it just shuts off like that, and the voice I have to do manually. But nonetheless, I think that was still a pretty good, cool simulation, if you ask me. And before I end the video, I decided I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the speaker. Now, this gained some interest in some of my videos in the past, so I figured I would do it again, and you might hear a little bit of it. But I'm going to, I have the speaker hooked up to the microphone. Well, more, of the, more like the microphone hooked up to the amp, and it going to the speaker. But, anyways, let's simulate, let's say, voice announcements through the speaker. So, let's say the testing is completed. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The building fire alarm system testing it has ended. You may now resume your normal activities. Once again, the building fire alarm system testing has completed. 
You may now resume normal activities. Please regard any alarms at this point forward. Once again, the testing is over. Please regard any more alarms from this point forward. Maybe they wouldn't say it like that, but that's just my version. Now, if they were going to test the system, may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? We will now be testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard any alarms from this point forward. Once again, we are testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard any alarms from this test, this point forward. Thank you very much for your cooperation. And if I really wanted to have a little bit of fun, let me just say the all-time favorite now, at least in my definition. My voice is coming out of a fire alarm speaker. It sounds so awesome coming out of a fire alarm speaker. So that just about does it for the V, no, not V, SP1R 247580A. I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, that's kind of lame. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. That'll be it.